I'm here at J Signs and Graphics in Aberdeen, North Carolina, and I dropped off the Sprinter a couple of days ago, and they're going to put a wrap on it. So let's go in and, and uh, talk to Luke, and we'll talk about the process of putting a wrap on your vehicle. Okay? Nope. Oh, blooper, blooper reel. I missed the door. Luke, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, right, let's pretend we just met and you have a microphone on. Oh, this yeah. is Luke. Uh, he's going to talk us through the process of putting a wrap on a vehicle. Oh, yeah. It's so like wallpapering, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Just a yeah. big sticker. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, when we get your car, we'll uh, strip down headlights, taillights, uh, door handles, any seals. Yeah. And then we'll clean it. And then they'll print it up here on these printers. Oh, okay. And then it'll come out after all the artwork's done. It'll be printed. Then we'll laminate it, cut it down, and then we'll take it back, start applying it. Okay, it's like a week-long process, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go take a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this size majority done. So, yeah, this vehicle is so big. There's so much real estate on it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we went with this uh, mapping kind of uh, graphic. And it's going to have the Fieldcraft logo back here as well. And I think we're going to put it on the windows as well. So you can put the, you can put the print on the glass. Oh, yeah. And it looks, it kind of blends, but you can see out very well. And you can't see in just as yeah, well, Yeah, you can't right? see in it. Yeah. Um, you can just see out, yeah. Yeah, so you took off all the uh, door handles, all the mirrors, and all that kind of thing. And uh, is it, is it, is it, is there heat applied to it when it's put on? Yeah, mainly in like, a, like right here. Yeah. All your, uh, where it's folding around, it all has to be heated. Okay. So it gives it a new memory. It oh, wants to lay okay. flat, and then once it's heated, okay. it gets a memory of this yeah. new shape. When you, when you, when you're done with this part, do you get, do you get bubbles? Do you get like little imperfections that you have to go back and check? Yeah. Uh, you you just make sure that you don't have bubbles. Okay. It's yeah. air release, so normally there is no bubbles, mm -hmm. but we normally check over it really well before we pull it out. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, like I said, a week-long process to get this on. It's beautiful. How does it? Uh, I assume it protects the vehicle, right? Oh yeah. Um, like if I'm off-road and I'm going through brushes and, and, and scrapes and all that, I'm going. I'm going to. How long does a wrap last? Uh, generally, I think they say five to seven years. Okay. Depending yeah. on the sun and the UV. Yeah. If you're in Arizona, it probably doesn't last <laughs> yeah. that long, right? Like, yeah. Especially um, the roof and the hood. Yeah, yeah. 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 We didn't actually do the roof on this one, but spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> but uh, we get a decent bit of sun here, but it's not as brutal as it would yeah, be in the Southwest. Yeah, it's not as bad. Yeah. So get a couple of years out of it. It's really nice. It really gives it a unique look and uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I love it. So how long, how long before you, I know he wanted to keep it for like to the middle of next week, just to make sure it's right. Yeah. But this part of like putting on the big sticker, how long, how much longer you got on that? Uh, day or two? Yeah, a day or yeah. two. The bumper is the big one. Why? It's just, that it, one's. It's so molded. It's yeah. so curved. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's going to go all in here, yeah. all down. Yeah. Yeah. So is that why you leave that to last? Yeah, yeah because it's that's the part. most detailed. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of real estate, right? This is oh, yeah. probably twice as much as a car. Oh yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's a beautiful. I really like the color. Yeah, I love the map. It's hard to see see it on the picture, you know, but I really like the color. Yeah, it come to life now. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, so get get it all finished. Blah, 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 put all the stuff back on. Check for imperfections. Let it sit for a little bit. And then I'll pick it up next week. That's awesome, man. Well, I hate to interrupt you, man. Let you get back to work. But no, I appreciate you showing us around. Oh, yeah. And giving us a look at it. A uh, sneak peek. And, uh, yeah, really looking forward to seeing the finished product. Thank you, We are, well. too. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Thank you all. Out to Baden Lake today, a really nice spot, uh, just to take a look at the finished product. So I used to be kind of a gray man, and now I'm a... Uh, driving around in, in a billboard okay field craft survival billboard all right so if you look at the wrap it's like a giant sticker like we said earlier on but it's really smooth and really clean and i did not know this they, they did the windows and from the inside you can see out fine um, but you can't see in which i think is a really cool feature um, you go ahead and look at it right here see that beautiful really cool job j signs and graphics in aberdeen did this and i just think they did an amazing job uh, you come on around here. Yeah, people now will be like, oh, I saw you went here and I saw you went there. And I'm like, damn it. Uh, you come around. 
Yeah, the other window's done. There's a logo on the side. And then uh, on the back here, I took off a par a portion of this bike rack because it kept hitting me in the back of the head. Um, but uh, we're not built out. I think the last time I forgot to show you this. This is a pull-out drawer that we have. We have two of them on the back here. Really nice, really convenient. One thing I've learned about this vehicle is, you know, it would be fine if I was just camping, but when I'm going to training and I have to take a lot of training supplies with me, it does get a little cramped and tight. So I have to be really innovative on how I pack stuff up and uh, so I can get to it. So, um, the next video is going to be a complete loadout. I'm going to show you what I take and what I don't take. Um, I have learned a couple of things. Like I am not an expert on this, uh, like boondocking type stuff. I've done it out west a bunch, but here in the east, it's a little different. First thing I learned was we went up to Pisgah National Forest, which is a beautiful area. I think Pisgah probably is a Native American word for nowhere to park your sprinter van because we went up there with no plan, Mr. Special Forces, and we uh, figured, oh, we'll find somewhere. And we went to a bunch of places and they were already taken. Or if it was a paid campground, people have booked them. In some cases, the, the, the campground told us they're booked six months to a year in advance because people go on vacation, right? We did find a really beautiful one at Linville Gorge, which is a little state park. We camped there, but lesson learned. Um, you, you got to make a plan. I, I joined this um, um, heritage host, I think it's called. The, it's like a boondocking kind of organization. You pay 50 bucks a year and you can go and um, camp in all these kind of strange places. Some of them are in people's driveways and some of them are in vineyards and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes. That might be a better option, but I'm learning as I go. And uh, yeah, we'll share it with you. Next trip I'm taking, going to Florida to run some training down there and then I'm going up to Indiana so we got plenty and then next month we're going out to Colorado so we got plenty of stuff coming and uh, yeah we'll make content appreciate it thank you bye